The proposed deal between the EU and Turkey has already come in for criticism over its legality. The United Nations is one of the parties that's saying mass expulsion from Europe is illegal. Well, let's hear from Steve Pearce now. He's a European law analyst and joins me now live from London. Uh, Mr Pearce, what do you make of this deal? Well, it certainly would be illegal to have a mass expulsion unless beforehand you looked at each individual application for asylum. And then even if you did that, there are problems sending people back to Turkey because at least some people aren't uh, allowed to stay in Turkey. They're sent to unsafe countries. Others are subject sometimes to uh, abuse and Turkey doesn't fully apply the UN Refugee Convention. Can you tell us more about that? Well, what Turkey has done is it said that it will only apply the UN Refugee Convention to people from Europe. So, of course, almost everyone who's coming across to Greece are people from Middle Eastern or African countries, so they are not entitled to be treated as refugees in Turkey. So to send them back to a country where they can't fully be treated as refugees is obviously a problem from the point of view of uh, human rights and refugee law. OK, what do you make of the various countries, including Austria and, and countries in the Balkans, uh, that have closed their borders? Well, the EU rules say that, in principle, you have to apply for asylum in the first country you come to within the EU, and that's Greece. But it's also clearly unmanageable for Greece to deal with the large numbers that it's got there. And the other EU countries promised to help a little bit, taking uh, 160,000 people out of Greece and Italy to deal with them, uh, their applications, but only a, a thousand, less than a thousand of those people have been moved in six months. So that's not really working out very well. And uh, some some other solution has to be found, or at least uh, the people in the worst uh, conditions, the children who are sleeping in the mud, really, in, in some places in Greece, I think, ought to be prioritised those families and and relocated as soon as possible. How do, how do the people who are being sent back from Europe, how do they get into the system in a legal fashion? Uh, do you mean in, in well, Europe are, or in the, Turkey? Yeah, no, the, the, the people who have made their way to Europe in a quote-unquote illegal or irregular fashion, they're going to be sent back in, in some numbers uh, to Turkey. Uh, how do they make their way into the system in a legal fashion, in many cases, of course, they, they've lost their documents or they've burnt their documents. Now, there are challenges here. Yes. Of course. Well, they can apply for asylum, and it's always best to as apply for asylum as soon as possible. I think a lot of people had been hoping they could just move on and apply for asylum in Germany and Austria or Sweden, but that is really much more difficult than it used to be. I think some people will try and find a different route, like through Albania or try and cross the Adriatic, but it's much more difficult than it used to be. A lot of people are trapped do, in Greece. Do you so have evidence have of people... have to apply for asylum in Greece. Of course. And do you have people, evidence of people going through Albania now and taking alternative, more risky routes? Well, there are press stories the Albanian government is talking to Greece and willing to allow people in. I don't know if that's true or not. And there's some people speculating that people would try and cross the Adriatic, which is a much longer journey to try and get across to Italy and a much more unsafe journey, and you'd have even more people dying if they tried it, unfortunately. OK, Steve Pearce, EU law analyst, thank you very much for your analysis from London.